Hi, I'm Maggie, and I'm going to walk you through the steps of setting up the sync between a less annoying CRM calendar and a Google Calendar. This sync allows you to create, edit, and delete events in your less annoying CRM calendar and have those changes pushed to Google, and vice versa. The sync with Google is two-way, so you'll never need to enter information twice, and both calendars will always be current. You can also use this integration to link a non-Google calendar to your CRM by first connecting that calendar to Google, and then connecting Google to the CRM. The most common example of this is using the Google Sync to create a bridge between the calendar on your mobile device and your calendar in the CRM. I'll be connecting my primary Google Calendar, which has quite a few events on it, with my primary CRM calendar, which you can see is totally empty. However, the setup process is no different if I were to start with a full CRM calendar and an empty Google Calendar, or if I had events in both systems already. To begin, I'll mouse over Settings in the CRM navigation bar, and then click Sync with Google. This opens the Google Integration Settings page. In the center column, I'll click this button to set up Google Calendar Syncing. On this Google Calendar integration page, there are instructions on connecting another device to Google Calendar, such as a phone or tablet calendar app, as well as instructions on syncing with more than one Google account. When I'm ready to proceed, I'll click this button to authorize the sync with Google. Before you go any further, please read this additional text. I know it's tempting to skip over information like this, but it has some really important things you should know about the sync. Once I've read it, I'll click Proceed to Authorize the Sync with Google. Next, I'll need to make sure to log into the Google account that I want to sync with the CRM. If you have multiple Google accounts, just be sure to log into the correct one. Once I'm logged in, I'll need to allow the CRM to have access to my Google account. Click Allow to do that. Now that I'm connected to Google, I'll match up my calendars. Here, I'm syncing my primary Google Calendar with my primary less annoying CRM calendar. Once my calendars are set up properly, I'll click Finalize the Sync with Google, and that's it! My calendars are now syncing. You can see that my CRM calendar is now full of those events from Google. And when I add an event in the CRM, that event will appear almost instantaneously in my Google Calendar. This also works for editing and deleting events as well. I've just shown you how to set up the sync for a single calendar, but what if you have multiple calendars in your account? No problem. The setup for multiple calendars is exactly the same as a single calendar sync. Again, from my sync settings page, I just need to match my calendars in Google with the corresponding calendars in the CRM. Here, I'm syncing my primary calendars as well as my personal events calendars. If you don't have enough Google Calendars to sync with here, you will need to create those in Google before setting up the sync. Once again, when I'm ready, I'll just click Finalize the Sync with Google to begin the sync with multiple calendars. If I ever need to edit or stop the sync or authorize a sync with another Google account, I can always come back to my Google integration page and click Edit Sync Settings. As always, if you have any questions about this sync or the CRM, feel free to contact us and we'll be more than happy to help. Happy syncing!